Hello everybody, my name is Kendra. I love crafty stuff and thankfully my family does too. And I have collected quite a good collection of handmade Christmas ornaments and decorations. And so I wanted to share that all with you today. Now we haven't set up the tree yet. And so a lot of these are the tree ornaments that I've kind of gone through. I'm really hoping I didn't miss any key things, but I thought it might be kind of fun to show you some of the things that I have. Um, again, a lot of these things are not made by me. A lot of it's made by my family members. So I hope some of these things might be some good ideas for you. Maybe you're looking to make some handmade gifts this holiday season, um, but maybe you'd just like to see some of the things that have been given to us over the years. So the first category I would say is the Christmas ball ornaments. And we have had uh, quite a few of these given to us and we have some that we just put on the tree, but I'll show you the homemade ones. First up are these two. They're small ones that have a crocheted outer shell on them that just go around with a really shiny ball inside and they look really pretty on the tree. And uh, yep, you can see at the top here, especially with a loose weave like this, it definitely wouldn't take like a ton of crocheting to make this, but that is one thing. Also with the balls, we have a kid one. <laughs> This one here has a picture. My daughter made this one. And so the kids just put a picture of themselves inside and a bunch of glitter. And then they just used a Sharpie on the outside. You probably can't see to write the name and the year. So that's a cute little gift and one that the kids definitely like looking at every year. And the last one, and there's lots of variations on this, is to use the ball. It has paint in it. And then I think it was a Cricut that was used to put our last name and then the year on the outside. I've seen a lot of these ones done with glitter inside too. And I think we did have one at one point. Unfortunately, the ones that have the glass outer, there's a few that have broken over the years, um, but they're still a really nice decoration. So we have quite a few cross stitch ornaments as well. And thanks to my mom on these ones, she made one for the first Christmas of the older two. We've got the kitty cat, cute little cat at Christmas with the felt backing. And then this one here, the birds and the cat looking outside. So these are, again, with the banner, with the first Christmas on them. Always love looking at these ones. And as I get more into cross stitching too, I just enjoyed even more seeing all the work that went into them. So last year I tried to make an ornament, a cross stitch ornament for the three, for my family. And I used the Brooks Books Advent Animal series, which is free online. And I decided to try doing it one over one on 28 count and they're itty bitty. And I'm just gonna warn you, I really am not happy with the finish and I think I'm going to see if I can change it up this year. But I'll show you the stitching if you can forgive the poor finishing. My circle's not round. Anyways, but if you look, the animals are really cute. I really love this series. Um, so I had each of them, we kind of talked about it with the older two. And so this one was supposed to be like the one my daughter picked, my son picked the little bear. And then I did this little hedgehog with the gift for my youngest and just put the year and their initials in the middle. So I don't know what my plan is. I was thinking about adding stuffing. It's really kind of flat and lackluster. I hadn't left a lot of room around the edge and yeah, it needs some attention, but I am hoping to do that now that I've pulled it out for this year. My last cross stitch one, I think my grandma stitched this one, although I am not 100% sure um, that this candy cane here always goes on our tree. And it says peace on the back and it's sparkly trim on the outside and I always love to do this one too. All right, so some other little ones that I think would be a little harder for the average person, but we have these two wood hanging ornaments and a spring, a metal spring ornament that my dad, who does a lot of metal work, made. So you can see these ones up close. I think for most of you who are more here for the crafty things, these might be harder, but I, as I haven't done any of these things myself, but some very fun handmade ornaments. This next one's up. I guess maybe a little bit similar. It uses a round of wood and has this really pretty painting and wood burning. Looks like maybe they use one of those wood burning pens on it. And it, yeah, painted in the middle. This was from a coworker several years ago and they made one for each of the staff members and they were all different, all different types of snowflakes and they turned out really nice. Just hanging on a string. Right around that same time, somebody else at that workplace had made these for everybody, little 
spatula painted with the snowman and then they stuck them in the tree so they were kind of poking out and there was one for each person and I thought that was a really cute idea too so just a little snowman face on here my name on the back <laughs> so my kids have made a lot of ornaments too and I didn't bring a bunch of them up or some of these were given by nieces and nephews but we always do these painted flat ones and then also the painted ceramic um I don't know standing pieces they will the kids like to color or paint and so I didn't bring any of the other ones up but that's always a classic and we've got a lot of these painted from over the years and then this one as well which is made from I think the salt dough and uh, was painted and is a good way for kids to make ornaments lots of glitter on there too another Christmas gift kid idea is a Christmas painting this one here my daughter had made it Christmas themed with lots of Christmas uh, glittery things on there. So we pulled this one out at Christmas too from a law. It's from several years ago, but it's always fun to see. And it's nice to have something that's like just for Christmas. So somebody at our church made us this wreath here and it uses a yarn around the edge and um, yeah, some florals and pine cones on the back. So this, oh, it goes this way with it on the side. So this is another Christmas decoration. This next one came from a craft fair, I think, and we have several, I just pulled out a few, and it's these little wood bird houses that um, were given to us. We have one for each family member. They're really nice, and they're all a little bit different. These ones are kind of similar, but there's some that are more tall and skinny and just different shapes and sizes. I also have some machine embroidered gifts. These ones here, my mom had made, and they each hold a little candy cane. There's a gingerbread man and a little mouse. And yeah, there's just a little loop for the candy canes to sneak into. We have these other machine embroidered ones that were made by a friend at, a ch at our church as well. And they, oh, that's the backside, are these beautiful scenes. It's all stitched on there. So there's the nativity scene and then this one and this one right here these are i really like these ones they're very intricate but a really nice collection these are from last year so i'm really looking forward to hanging them up this year the last machine embroidered one is this here seems like the red cars with the christmas trees are pretty popular there's lots of cross stitch designs with that and with the vinyl on the back really like this one as well we also have these little felt gingerbread people we have these and then also magnets they look the same but they had uh, fridge magnets on their arms and legs and then pull those ones out but these i think came from a craft fair that were given to us by a family member as well all right we're getting down to the last few but we have this chainmail ornament that my mom made and it's got lots of little loops on here it's really interesting and different so I, I like this one i kept it up all year we got it last year at christmas and i don't feel like it's super christmas themed so we had it hanging up in the house also have just a little mitten with the name on it and this had something inside and there was one for each member of the family so i have this guy to hang on the tree this year too i also have this little wood ornament that i carved like as a child i think <laughs> i don't know i think maybe i was around 12 and um a lot of people in my family had carved different Santa faces, especially old fashioned Santa faces. But I have this in with my Christmas decorations. It's just rough wood on the other side and I always pull them out for Christmas. All right, so those are all the ornaments that I wanted to show you. I really hope to kind of keep adding some of my own things to the collection over the years. I often will make ornaments to give away, but I don't really make them for our own tree too often. I think the only one in all of these was that cross stitch from last year. And um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my collection of handmade ornaments. I'd love to know if you have any great ideas of other ornaments to make. It's always fun to grow the collection and see so many special memories on the tree. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.